I've often heard this statement, a need seen is an assignment given. And it sounds really good, but it cannot be correct because there are needs, literally needs all around us. And all of those are not our assignments. You know, you will bring much peace to your soul if you bring all the needs presented to you by other people and ask the Lord if, if this is your assignment. Free your soul from assignments given to you by people, other people, or even assignments that you think you need to sign up for in order to be a good Christian, right? In order to do something good. Free yourself from these and only do the assignments that the Lord gives you. You know, often God does not want you to take on certain assignments for your own good. Sometimes, you know, it's to protect you from something, to protect your health, to protect your time with him, to protect you from, you know, there's something not good in that assignment for you. It, you know, it, it'll cause frustration or something. Or sometimes he just doesn't have that assignment for you. Maybe, you know, because there's nothing in there for you. You know, he's, the Lord has said this to me a while back and he says this to me often. Well, hopefully less now because I'm understanding what my assignments are, what I say yes to and what I say no to. He said this to me once, don't waste your time, don't waste my time. And I knew what he meant when he said that to me. Because when I'm wasting my time on something that he doesn't have for me to do or to sign up for, then I'm also wasting his time. Because I am allowing Jesus to live his life through, through me. Galatians 2.20, the apostle Paul says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ lives within me. It is his life now inside of me. And in order to get that abundant life out of me and to live that abundant life that Jesus promised, we have to allow him to live his life through us. And we do that by obeying his voice inside of us. Something to think about is every time God gives you an assignment or an instruction, his peace will come along with that. I've got this awesome testimony to share with you from the book Four Keys to Hearing God's Voice by uh, Mark Berkler. So the four keys are just very simple. It comes from, I think, Habakkuk 2.2. The four keys are very simple. Just quiet yourself. Go to a quiet place and be alone with God. And then close your eyes and use your imagination to fix your eyes on Jesus. You have an ima imagination, you can close your eyes and picture anything you want. I love to picture Jesus and I walking along the beach. Do that. Fix your eyes on Jesus. Not on what you're asking him or praying for or anything like that. Make sure you see Jesus in your mind, right? And then ask him your question or say something to him. And then quiet yourself and pay attention to the spontaneous thoughts that you receive after that. And obviously the fourth key is to write those thoughts down. They're going to be flowing in your mind. Just write what you hear. And yes, even the enemy speaks to you from the spiritual realm like that. And a test, to test it is very easy. James 3.17 is one of them. The wisdom from above is first peaceable, easy to be entreated. Look at James 3.17. Pay attention to how those words, honestly, when you look at those words afterward, when you read what you wrote, the flow of the spontaneous thoughts that came into your mind, look at it and see if it is aligned with God's word or is it God's heart? Those are the, it's very easy. So let me share with you, they, they had a testimony in here and all they wrote is Paul from England, obviously to protect him, his identity. But they, you know, put it in here and I thought this was so powerful and it goes along with assignments from the Lord. This is what he said. I saw the Lord next to the sea. I joined him and began to skim stones on the water. Again, all this in your mind, you can picture anything you want. I got three skips. The Lord did the same and it skipped to the horizon. He grinned. I did it again and this time better. Five skips. Again, the Lord did it. And it went to the horizon. As I bent to get another stone, he stopped me and gave me a stone. It didn't look like a good skimming stone, but I took it. I threw it and it skimmed to the horizon. 
The Lord looked at me with a smile and said, Paul, what I put in your hands or in your hand goes further than the things you pick up. Wow. It has caused me to ask the question when things are offered me and invitations come, is this what the Lord is putting in my hand or it is, so is it something I am picking up? I pray this has been a help to you. You will free your soul from much anguish if you just, you know, just receive your assignments, your instructions from the Lord instead of from other people. And if, when other people bring things to you, take it to the Lord and say, is this for me? And then do what he says.